welcome back. I'm back in the attic today working on clearing out some more space, getting rid of some more donations and garbage so that we can have more space to work up here possibly. Thinking about maybe transforming this space just to make it easier to access the things that we need to get to. The funny thing about attics is kind of like garages and basements. It's kind of a catch-all for a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it's hard to keep a system because normally you say this space is for this. The kitchen is for this. The dining room is for eating. The living room is for family time. You know, each space has a designated purpose, right? And essentially an attic or a garage and a basement has a purpose too, but it, a lot of times it can be a multifunction space, which makes it a bit more difficult when we have to tackle these larger areas. So like in my attic, I have clothing storage, seasonal storage, holiday storage, sentimental, light bulbs and baskets and extra furniture. I'm just looking around like, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Our basement is very damp. We don't have a dehumidifier down there yet. And it's a very, it's like an old 1900s floor and walls with lots of moisture and stuff that comes in. So we can't store any like sensitive stuff down there or furniture that we wouldn't want to get moldy. So the important stuff has to come up here to be stored. It kind of gets you in a trap when you have such a large area too, because you like, well, I have all this space, so it's okay. I'll just keep tossing stuff up there. There's plenty of room for it, right? But just because I have the space doesn't mean it needs to be filled. So I'm really trying to get rid of this extra stuff that's just been kind of hanging around, that stuff that gets tossed up here and I don't really need to be hanging on to in the first place. I just need to take the time to go through, weed everything out, and just save the really important stuff that needs to have a spot up here. Make it functional so that I can find and easily get to everything that I need to get to. So this, the attic has been difficult because it is a mix of my kids' things and my childhood things and everything in between, pretty much. I have spent hours and hours and hours up here and you'd think by now I would have made a larger dent but I mean it's so easy to get overwhelmed and the decision fatigue is real you know and it's just so much stuff and it's like you only make a tiny space of you know accomplishment say oh look at I open up this tiny space on the floor well it's better than it was before now you can walk through there keep working on the next space and there's some things that have been up here and I don't even know why they're up here like just because they've always been up here doesn't mean that they need to stay up here like when we just quickly moved everything in a lot of things just went up here because we didn't have time to figure out what to do with them so they've just always been up here it's been their home but it's t it's time to also rethink about that stuff and where it could be rehomed what its function is, can I repurpose it, am I going to use it in the future? You know, going through all these questions of why do I still have this? Am I going to use this? Do I even remember that I had this in the first place? And it's just thinking through all this stuff of why I've had this stuff for so long and making the final decision of should it stay or should it go? <laughs> In the past, I've actually bought moving boxes just because I don't have large enough boxes around to fit all my donations in. And I have all these little boxes and I can only fit in a few things and it's like, I wasn't getting anywhere. So I finally was like, I'm just going to buy some larger moving boxes so I can really get a ton of stuff in at once and get it out of the house. Because not everything can fit in garbage bags. Or shouldn't go in garbage bags anyways, right?
here that I used uh, to make some decorations for my daughter's kitten birthday party. That was probably four years ago. So I'm going to donate this and somebody else can use it for a project. Our house was built in 1900 and when we moved in we found these in the attic. They're very delicate, very fragile, but they're pretty interesting. It's just that you have to be super careful because they want to fall apart. This was in like the roof. It's like, it's like crumbling. This one's from 1916. Well, that Halloween one is really cool. 1911. So I'm gonna hang on to these for now and I'm going to um, ask around and see if I can find anything out about these old vintage postcards. And maybe somebody wants them or, a collect or maybe they're collectibles, I'm not sure. But I'm not gonna just throw them away. But the nursery rhyme book, I don't know, it's like literally crumbling in my hands. So I don't know if that's something anybody would want. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, baby. Um, and then I'm hanging on to these boxes for now because they are really nice and sturdy. Um, I may be able to repurpose them. So I'm gonna just Keep them for the time being until I finish this whole project and then I will see if I can use them or not. And then in this bin over here I have extra school supplies for the kids. These are beads and then these are like notebooks and extra folders for school. So we won't need to buy as many school supplies when the fall comes around. Over on this side I've moved some of my dad's things so that I can have them out and enjoy them rather than have them packed away. It's just a little space that I can't really do much with anyways, so I just thought it would be nice to put out a few sentimental items that were his. This is from our prom. There's those old postcards I'm leaving up for now. And then this teacup was from my grandma. And then also this dish was from my grandma as well. As of right now, it looks like I have a giant mess behind me, which I kind of do, but it's semi-organized. I need to go get a larger donation box. I have donation stuff, donation stuff, donation clothes, clothes to sell, and garbage. I need to actually find a box that I can fit this stuff into, and then I'm going to take a trip with this stuff out to the garage until it is time to make another trip to the donation center. So I just jammed You can see the water coming in. So my husband put the screens in, but the wind is blowing this direction, and so the, so is the rain. So I'm not gonna be able to put my office or desk or anything under this window. So I just stuck this glass piece back in to try to keep, try to keep the rain out for now. This is, also a little bit of a obstacle with cords and electronics and things so i'm gonna have to figure this out we also have two spare dining room chairs up here um we can fit eight chairs at our table but we only bring them down 
Um, there's one here and there's one in the other section. When we have a party and we have company, so we, they stay up here. And we have an ottoman that goes with our chair downstairs. And this is an, another ruggable. So I will be keeping those. I gotta see what my husband wants to do about the ottoman because our living room isn't really big enough to use it. So as always, as I start to pack up my donations, I have a something to write with and some paper and I'm gonna make an itemized list of everything that's going in the box so that I can get my receipt. I used to use this bowl as a centerpiece on my dining room table, but I don't know if I want to anymore. It does the colors don't really go with any of our rooms anymore. I mean, in the past it did. So I'll have to wrap this up in bubble wrap very carefully and donate this. Behind this desk area is some more things like extra throw pillows and a ball pit that we had for the kids when they were little. Plus somebody liked to chew holes in the mesh sides of it. Won't mention any names. So I've come across some clothing that was my dad's and it was unfortunately in a damp basement for a long time before I was able to retrieve it. It's a long story. I'm not gonna get into it. But what I have done is I got out a couple shirts that I'm going to keep that are in good condition some other things that were his that I have taken pictures of and like his works work shirts that I always remember him wearing when he was working on uh, cars and remodeling stuff. So a lot of these are musty and moldy. They are just not in good shape and I can't even donate them. So I'm taking pictures for memory's sake and then I'm going to get rid of them because there's not really much else I can do with them at this point. Again, not helpful, Phoenix. Okay, I just want to talk about this stuff for a second. Um, this railing over here is something that we need to keep because when we bought the house we were told well the previous owners had to put that in and they had attached it over here as you can see there's a spot in the floor for it um, and because the stairs obviously certain death the railing is necessary for it to pass codes we took it down in order to get things in and out of here and just to make things life easier but we do need to keep it and we may put it up again someday depending on, you know, the situation. But in the meantime, that's where that lives. And then I also have a couple of dead laptops that I need to recycle. There is a place nearby that does electronics recycling, but they have very limited hours. So I finished a lot of stuff in this one section. I'm really happy about how it turned out. Um, so the only thing I've left is this massive collection of picture frames. This is going to be a project in itself. I'm going to have to go through and decide what frames I want to keep or which pictures I just want to take out of the frames and or just donate frames, keep, you know. So that's going to be a process. That's a project for another day, but I'm happy with how everything else turned out for today.
going to take these bags right out to my car and put them in my trunk. So next time when I go by the church, I can just stop and drop them off. Okay, I am done for the day. I am tired. <laughs> I've made a lot of progress. I don't think all of this will necessarily stay this way, but I'm happy with how it is for now. And then as I keep moving along, the, the space may progress and I may change things up as I decide how I want to use the space. But for now, it's definitely so much better than it was. I really love hearing all your comments and your encouragement and all your kind words. It means a lot to me. And I appreciate all your suggestions as well. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.